Let's talk about Erickson. Erickson, who if you've watched previous videos, you may remember that he was a psychoanalytic theorist who proposed eight stages of development and he called them his psychosocial stages of development. Each stage has some kind of psychosocial crisis and they're always worded as something versus something else. Like you may remember, uh, in infancy, you dealt with trust versus mistrust. In early toddlerhood, you dealt with autonomy versus shame and doubt. Now, I'm gonna be talking about early childhood. And in early childhood, about age two to about age six, you would be dealing with initiative versus guilt. <clears throat> so initiative, what is initiative? This has to do with willingness, confidence, to try new things, to try new skills. If you think of early childhood, there's a lot of new stuff that they are throwing at you, expecting you to master, to work on. And so children undertake new skills and activities when they can't do it. And sometimes that will happen. Sometimes you're not successful. When they can't do it, when they don't have successes, they can feel guilty. All right, so when they are not successful, when they try to make their own sandwich for lunch and it's a big mess and it doesn't taste very good uh, and then somebody has to step in and do it for them, they have a sense of guilt. Guilt, in this case, guilt has many, many meanings in other contexts, um, but here we're talking about that feeling of, oh man, I didn't, I didn't do it, I didn't make it, I, I, didn't, I, I, didn't, I didn't succeed, I didn't, I didn't do the thing that I wanted to do. And so, initiative, you feel good, like, hey, I can try. Now, the thing about this is, just like in some other, other earlier stages that we talked about, being too critical is not necessarily the best way to go because if you are too critical, if you emphasize failures, you can encourage guilt, all right? Uh, also, we know that when you are giving praise, when you're giving encouragement, it does seem to work much more effectively if you focus on effort rather than the end result. And this is gonna come up repeatedly for various topics, but this idea that praise effort, not end product. Not did you win the game, how hard did you work while you were playing? Not did you get an A, how much did you study? How much did you improve? How much did you learn? Uh, not you're smart, you studied so hard, you worked so hard. Uh, you know, not, not focusing on uh, individual characteristics of a person or an end goal, but focusing on the process, the process of what they're going through. Now, another interesting thing having to do with early childhood in particular, during this time, children have, in my opinion, I'm jealous of this, this quality that they have called uh, protective optimism. And this is this sense like, I can do no wrong unless you step in and are really super critical and tell them, yeah, you're no good, you can't do anything. Uh, most children during this age range, they tend to have an unrealistically positive self-concept and this protective optimism where uh, if you ask them like, hey, estimate, you know, how many words you can come up with that start with the letter J, you know, something like that, and they will go way higher than they actually can. They're like, oh, it's so many, and then they come up with like three, you know, and it's like, oh, okay, I, I thought I could do amazing things. Another thing that you'll see is you'll ask like, hey, um, tell me something you like to do. Oh, I like drawing. Oh, tell me about your drawings. I, I mean, I'm super good at drawing. I am like the best in the world, or I like gymnastics, I like to do cartwheels, or I'm the best cartwheeler in the world. I mean, they don't always use that terminology, you know, the best in the world, but sometimes they will describe themselves as if they are amazing. It's almost sad when they lose this later. Trust me, in the next stage, for most folks, it's gonna go away. Um, but uh, during this stage, it's this unique time where you just feel like, typically, you just feel like you can do anything. Um, so this protects young children from guilt and shame and encourages learning. So don't mess with them. You know, when they say like, I'm really good at this, like they show you their picture, they're like, look at my picture. Isn't it amazing? Don't be like, well, actually, no, I can't tell what that is. That looks like garbage. No, this is a child. Be like, look at that, that's so great. Give them the encouragement. All right, so uh, those are some of the basic things you know, to introduce you to the concept of Erickson's stage, of psychosocial stage, of initiative versus guilt.